Hey guys, this is EDM Soundworks here and we're back again for another tutorial. This time it's about mastering and we're going to be looking at a track that I made uh, with the Melbourne Bounce template. Uh, I just changed a bunch of stuff and kept the bass and it sounds like this after the mastering. So. <laughs> This waveform is not the final waveform because it's just passed through ozone. But you're gonna get uh, the secret to loud mastering like the pros uh, in this tutorial. So I'm just gonna make you listen it to the mix track. And this is not a mixing tutorial, uh, so you should have like a mixed track. Uh, it sounds like this. Okay, sorry, I had an intro on. So. Without the intro, sounds like this. I'm gonna show you how to make it like the first one. So what you want to do, I'm just gonna be using ozone here. And I'm just going to get a new preset. Uh, I'm just going to close them all. Reset. Okay. Reset. Reset everything here. Reset. Okay. Okay. I reset everything. I'm just going to keep the max market as is. For limiting and you're gonna you're gonna want to be looping something when you're mastering um, I'm just gonna take out the low end and the high end at like 34 Hertz and uh, 16 Hertz this is like a brick wall edge high pass filter it's like a very it cuts through it's not like a slope so. I'm gonna go to the harmonic exciter and just. I tend to leave the bass out of this uh, equation uh, in most multi band uh, effects. I'm just gonna add a little amount here. Uh, just take it up as you go. Like, you want more distortion on the upper frequencies. Some more high end there. Now add some dynamics. Uh, this is just multi band compressor, uh, and make sure you don't take this one because this one down because it's a limiter. So I'm just gonna set the ratio to 2.0. Just take it, take down the. Make sure you have uh, the threshold. Make sure you have auto auto gain on. Sounds good. Just do the same to uh, take that tag down on this one. So. And of course, here just to the example, 4.0 just to get like the game. That sounds cool. Now go to stereo imaging and remove uh, all the stereo from the bass. That, that's a cool technique because the speakers are mono in the club and you should uh, have like a clean mono space for the bass line. Just gonna add more uh, stereo here, stereo width, and uh, stick it up. Looks good, you can add more actually, but just don't mess with the bass and don't add too much because it starts to be like a delay effect. You don't want that. And basically, this track was mixed well, so I don't need to add that many effects 
or EQ. So that's just something I say. Uh, I have to say. Uh, so now uh, we're gonna be looking at the secret to get loud tracks like pros. And what you do is in the maximizer section of Ozone, just take the character down to clipping or fast and loud, like whatever you want, uh, because like they're both very similar, very fast and clipping. Uh, but the idea is in clipping just so fast, just boost the track a lot and and since it's uh, boosting it very fast, uh, what happens is it just like clips out the part that's over like over like it's too loud uh, so what you get is like it doesn't distort the full track so. let's listen to it I think that's too distorted so And you should usually have uh, like some meters around so you can check how loud your track is. And that was it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.